Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon. And last time we left off with a very frustrating puzzle for the chest. Well, the repeatable cursed chest, so to speak. Uh, I went ahead and did the rest of that off stream. If you saw last time, you saw the puzzle. The only trick is you get less attempts each time. So you start with 10, you get that treasure, next try you have 8, you get that treasure, next time you have 6, all the way to the 5th try when you have 2. 2 attempts to open the chest. Thankfully I did get it. And we will show it. I believe Albert has it. Yes, the ultimate war god. Let me swap it out so we can see the description. Makes additions complete automatically so if you have an addition you're struggling with or one you just need to grind up that you don't feel like learning the ultimate war god is amazing for that now off stream i also did a lot of addition grinding thanks to having the ultimate war god and we'll keep hashel let's bring rose back all right everybody seems to be good So now, onward to progress. Uh, let me make sure I actually have healing items. I don't remember if I stocked up before I saved or not. Alright, we're good. <laughs> so we need to visit the captain's quarters. That is what we were told by the ghostly spirit we encountered last time. It's locked and doesn't open. I believe the captain's quarters would be this area back here, which is blocked off. No, bad spirits. Had enough of these battles. Well, it looks like we'll get to see a few at least. At least one. I was almost crafty enough. Ah, I forgot to set up the additions. And actually show the ones I've grinded up. Alright, Hashel, let's kill death. So there's one of Hashel's new additions. That was in the process of leveling. I don't think it's hit level 5 yet. He does have another one he's already learned, because I did gain a couple of levels. Okay, watch me fail this because I've been grinding this with the ultimate war god and she doesn't have it. Oh good, I missed. I didn't get to embarrass myself. Always a plus. Alright, dart. Let's see if I can actually do this one. Oh, that's right. I switched you back to crush dance. Because all of your current additions are level 5. And crush dance is by far the best one. In terms of both damage and SP. Hash, I'll just beat up a wisp. Ah, oh, why you gotta hit Rose? Not Rose, defend and heal that back, just so I don't have to do your addition. Oh wow, I'm actually surprised Dark killed that in one hit. He's using a fire-based weapon, so his damage is usually pretty low compared to the others. Same reason I don't like having Rose attack death. Okay, let's get past the spirits. And have a look at these additions. And you can see, like I said, Dart maxed out everything. Madness Hero gives him the most SP at 204 but the damage is pretty negligible compared to crush dance which has huge damage and sp so that's pretty much the go-to for now i don't know when he's going to learn his level six 
or his sixth edition. But as soon as that one hits level five, he'll learn his seventh edition. Chana has no additions. Rose, however, does have her final edition, the Demon's Dance. I'd also like to point out the damage percentage on Hard Blade. Okay, Hashel needs 12 more uses on Summon Four Gods, then we can move up to Five Ring Shattering. I was working on Albert's Gust of Wind Dance. I didn't grind everything, just because it's not really worth it at this point. There is a point later where it's convenient to do it as well. Uh, Maru, I went ahead and maxed out Double Smack, and she learned Hammer Spin. Hongol still only has Pursuit, and he has maxed out its level. So let's give Rose that ultimate War God back, because I'm not even going to attempt Demon's Dance. And if you're wondering what the other... Oh wow, why does Dart have a bracelet? What did I take off of him? Power Wrist Broadsword. Where is your therapy ring? Ah, Maru had it. Okay. Eh, here you go, Maru. Have your bra power wrist. Sure glad I caught that. Starts therapy ring. Rose is good with the ultimate war god. Hashel's got the war god sash. Night shield, power wrist. Bandit's ring. Um, yeah, I'm feeling good with that. Alright. Here we go, this door is now open. For anyone who hasn't played this game before, this ghost ship is spoiler-tastic. Wow, a portrait of a beautiful woman. It seems like the queen of some country. It closed by itself. Please, help me. He... He killed the crew. Nanny, knights, me, and the newborn. Princess. Newborn princess. Him. The black... Monster. What? This was done by the Black Monster, too? We couldn't protect the princess, so we couldn't finish dying. Please destroy the fear. Please send the souls of the knights to rest. Arr. I can't emote too much on that, I have to be a little quiet. It's impossible to fully die. He kills people for no reason. Alright, well I'm going to help myself to this. And this. Alright, got some cash money. Okay, that just looks at the picture again. That portrait reminds me of somebody. Okay, so that's all just one big thing. So, can I get into the locked room now? Go ahead and fight one battle. Nothing here is too challenging. So I hope to finish disc 2 tonight. We're not very far away. I believe there's only really one dungeon after this. Maybe two boss fights? Either way, it's not too terribly long. Hey, good try, Hashel. Alright, Rose. Show off the demon's dance. Or not. Let's get a better camera angle. Dart, 
Kill death. Oh, you'll also notice through the addition grinding, Dart is now Dragoon level 5. And a couple of others have advanced to either 3 or 4. I believe Rose is 4, and almost everybody else is 3. Oh no, Hasha also made it to 4. So they have some new Dragoon magic to show off. Alright, busy talking. Failed horribly at pressing button. So that's the Demon's Dance, Rose's Ultimate Edition. It is still currently at level 1, so it'll likely get way, way better. Oh, I don't know how much I'll be keeping Rose in the party. So I'm under the assumption that the locked door is no longer locked. Ah. We won't give you Princess Luvia. That red text. Still hard to read. Rose? We'll protect her, even if it costs our lives. After counting 100 years, when the moon that never sets glows red, a moon child descends upon the earth. To fill the world with holy bliss. However, what was actually brought was the child of destruction, the black monster. We are witnessing a tragedy from the past. It's awful. How did it have to do this? Or why did it have to do this? Very different statement. The black monster. How much does he have to kill before he satisfies himself? Stop it! Sorry. What was I thinking? Let's move on. You want to know, don't you? I'm kind of confused now. Does it want me to go back downstairs? Because I've been in the rooms downstairs. There's n nothing else. And you kill a wisp. That's the one thing I don't like about the Ultimate War God. When you attack, you can't tell if you missed or not. At least until the SP appears. Yeah, it's a little too early on that. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to not do that. Okay, some minor damage on the dart. Wait, though, where would it actually want me to go? Because there's three rooms downstairs, and I've been to all of them. Hmm. Good effort, Hashel.
Oh, hey, Rose leveled up. Okay, so... I can't get in here. Damn it. Forgot that one was there. Even though that was the one I trained on the entire time I was grinding additions. You know, I've never realized how awful the ghost ship is until I've had to stream it. Hey, Hash, I'll get the other one. Huh, slightly too late still. I stunned it at least. That's right, you stay stunned over there. Rose, you get a little bit of HP back. You've taken some hits. There we go. Alright, I just want to verify this door. It's locked and doesn't open. Uh, check back over here. Make sure I didn't miss anything in that room. Perhaps it dropped a key or something that I've missed. I don't even feel like trying to dodge these. The battles are just so trivial at this point. You know, it'd be great if the battles were actually random, like normal, and I could go buy charm potions at the other ship. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Rose, do your thing. Wow, you both actually hit the wisps. Impressive. And dark kill death. I feel like I may have missed something in here. There may have been a thing on the floor. Because that locked room is the only one I haven't been in. There it is. Key of the Phantom Ship. Knew I was forgetting something. Yep, can I dodge it? Oh, like a ninja. Look at that, guys. I actually dodged a battle for once. Now watch me run directly into one. You hover away. The lock is opened. Now, oh, well, this looks lovely. I'm gonna get this treasure. Bravery armlet. Well, that's ominous. Huh? You, black monster. How dare you come here, pursuing Princess Luvia. But as long as we are here with her, we are not going to give her up. We are not the black monster. We are... How dare you, monster. Using human words to fool us. Unforgivable. Even if it costs my life, I won't give up our princess. Alright, come at me. Are 
you all are ghosts, so I'm going to assume you're dark type. Type. What is this, Pokemon? No, you're a dark attribute. Let's verify. Ah, good. I shall punch one. Oop, forgot that can be countered. <laughs> um, no. Yeah, it wasn't too bad of a hit. Mm. Don't really want to initiate Dragoon form, honestly. Because I have items for this. But let's show off some of the new stuff. So, the Dragoons learn new spells at levels 2, 3, and 5. Unless you're Kongol, then it's 1, 3, and 5. I don't know why Kongol got gypped on spells, but their final spell is the ability to summon their dragon. And I will point out that 175% is actually a typo. It is 75% actually. It is the same strength as Final Burst, but it hits everything. Let's summon us a dragon. Go, go, Dargan. We have so many beautiful targets for this. Oh, look at that glorious damage. Can you not do that to Hashel? That actually was a pretty big hit. Okay, Rose, what new spell do you have? You have Demon's Gate. Lethal attack for all. I highly doubt that'll work here, but let's see it. Okay, that's a questionable angle. Alright, I now have a very, very disturbed idea of what the Demon's Gate is. Thanks for that, Rose. And now we get to see it miss. Oh, it doesn't even tell me it missed. Yeah, Asher, you got some new stuff. Thunder God, 75% single. Sure. Ah, that was pretty cool. So much for that. I guess I bought all these light-based magic items for nothing. Hey, level ups. Albert, Kongol. Everybody gets some love. Ah. Princess? Princess? Shauna. It's over. There is no more black monster. Oh, please. Please suffer no more. You. You are. I... I... Thank God you made it, Princess Luvia. Wait. Is there still something that I don't know about?
The door is open. Alright, well, let's, let's see what's going on in here. Oh, there's a crib. There's also treasure. Dancing dagger. That sounds like a new toy for Rose. Yeah, it is. When does that go from 81 to 87? Sure. Cool. Let's touch the creepy crib. Yeah, this is going as expected. Princess Luvia. She was still young. If she wasn't a princess of Mili Seisu, this wouldn't have happened. Princess of Mili Seisu? Oh my, you are... Alive. Oh lord. It was not in vain. I have been wondering for 18 years and longing for you. I can now end everything. I can go to the place where everyone is. Wait, what kind of relationship do I have to this person? Party's over. The ship is sinking? Yep. Let's get out of here. Everything is fixed and under control in the engine room now, sir. Now let's relax and wait for Dart and the others to come back. Whoa. Kayla. Get ready, quick! Everyone, hurry up! Congo with the mad hops. Dart, Rose, quick! Quick! Dart! Let's go, we are the last ones. Rose, let go! You gotta live! This is the same as back then. No, I won't let go. I will never let it happen again. Rose? Dart, Rose! Dart! Commodore Puller! Put out the life raft, quick! And that's why it's important to get the ultimate war god while you have the chance. You can't come back to the ghost ship. Alright, well, it looks like they made it. Dart and Zeeg, they're so much alike, not only are they dragoons, recognized by the red-eyed dragon, but there is something else, something that attracts me. After 11,000 years of time, I now feel the strength and tenderness of Dart, and even his frailty. He's tame the insanity of the dragon for me. Zeeg, if my hands could grab him, I wouldn't have had this bitterness.
Oh, it is cutscene time. Well, that was awesome. I saw Zeke and Dart. But Dart is Dart. He is not Zeke. No, he is not Zeke. Pooch, what's wrong? Oh my god, there's somebody there. Ah, good. Dart is conscious. Pooch, you like him, don't you? I was surprised nobody would think there are people there. We're saved thanks to you, Pete. 
We have to thank Pooch, too. By the way, are you in love with each other? Because you two are traveling alone. Do you think so? I think so. Don't they look it? Yes, you make a good couple. Don't be silly. We were just looking for our friends, actually. There are seven of us. Okay, but you don't need to be shy. Are you sick? It's nothing. Actually, we should have been to the clinic in the neighboring town. Neighboring town? It's Fueno. There is a port and they have a boat to Danau. You know what? The Queen Fury might have dropped by. But why don't you take your mother to Fueno? Because there is a monster on the way in the undersea cavern. I know we rarely have guests, but we have to let them go, Pete. Mr. Dart, I hope you can meet your friends soon. I hope so, too. Say hi to everybody, okay? Not right in him, they're just gonna leave. Let's not inquire further about the monster. Uh, let's go to the pier. Need to explore around a little bit. I'm sure, there's stuff to find here. This appears to be the inn. Pete's Ma is a really good woman. She lost her hubby in the sea when Pete was still little. But bring the woman, or being the woman that she is, she worked hard to raise Pete. But as fate would have it, Pete's Ma became ill. Now Pete's taking care of her. But she's got to go to Fueno as soon as possible to be treated. There's a hot spring in Fueno Clinic and it's famous for working miracles. I've always wanted to go there, although I've never had the chance. But I heard it really works. When the guy next door had a strained back and he went there? Alright, good talk. That was way more conversation than I expected here. I guess this is not an inn. Or I talk to him from the wrong place. Anyway, let's climb this ladder. And we'll take the back entrance. And Stardust 33. That is the only stardust in this town. Eh, do I even need to rest? I mean, they did kind of sleep. Yeah, they're fine. And what's in here? Oh, I see a treasure chest. Yep. Guess that's not a treasure chest. Hello? Your house is very uneven. I 
Alright, so there's not a lot going on in this little town. That Fueno place sure sounds enticing. Let's go see what's going on there. Alright. What's wrong? Would you please take us to Fueno? I'm afraid of the monster, but we gotta go before it's too late. It's about your mother, isn't it? I want her to be in the hospital. You got it. We'll take you there. I can annihilate the monster for you. <laughs> Everybody backs up. Did I say something wrong? Thank you. I'll bring my ma. What are you looking at? No, nothing. Okay, I don't feel like that last part of that scene was necessary. Alright, into the undersea cavern. There's actually not a lot we can do in the undersea cavern at the moment. So we will be returning. Since the monster appeared, the water has never ebbed. But it's okay, cause Fueno is not this way. Okay, so the place has been flooded ever since the monster appeared. Got it. What diabolical monsters live in this cave? Okay, not what I was expecting. Ha, huh, sea piranha. Kill it. Alright, Tart. You have a fire attribute weapon, so you should destroy these. If you could hit them. You know, I thought my days of missing constantly were over once I got off the ship. Oh well. More addition levels for Rose. Alright, Dart. What's going on with you? Eh, uh, this actually works out for the best. He doesn't need the addition. I can't remember what Dart's next edition is called. No, well, he should learn it soon, I would hope. So close. Now what? Oh. Hello, blinky thing. Hey, something besides me missed. It's adorable. Rose, kill it.
Is this one of those monsters that has like 5 HP but is incredibly hard to hit? Or am I just failing? Yeah, we're about to find out. Nope, Rose just missed. Got a mind purifier. It's not a terrible find. Into Fueno. Oh, I remember this place. Here we are at Fueno. Thank you, Darden Rose. You have to get better soon and make Pete happy. I hope you can find your friends soon. But are you actually in love with each other? Because in that cave, you... You were a good boy and didn't see anything, okay? Oh, okay, I didn't see it. Maybe. It's nothing. We are going. Rose, you gotta confess to him. <laughs> I love the sound effect. Kids. What are you looking at? Okay, so I love this little shop here. Because based on where you go... The, uh... The dude runs back and forth and it's kind of funny. What do you have for sale? Burnouts and gushing magmas. Alright, well I'm going to sell... All the light based stuff I picked up. Trans lights. Probably don't need. Oh no, I guess I did use a mind purifier at some point. Alright, continue selling these. I bought so many magic items and I didn't use any of them. Good plan, me. Okay, so that last trans light. Sell the dancing rays. No, I don't want to sell the potions. Alright, keep going. Need my room. Oh, I did have an extra mind purifier. A night raid is really good. I want to keep that. Yeah, the black rains are fine. And so the last dancing ray. Alright, now let's buy some burnouts. Let's see, I got nine spots. Give me... Give me four burnouts and three gushing magmas. That is a backup plan for later. See, and if I go up here, the guy runs up here, and it's awesome. So what weapons do you have for me? Hey, Chris. Yeah, Rose is pretty ridiculous. All right, we'll get a Falchion for dart. Go ahead and just buy that. And we'll go ahead and buy that. Since they're not with us, who cares? Yeah, armor I need. Need more people with me. 
I already have a night helm. All right, so let's grab the rest of the stardust while we're here. Let's head into the inn. I'll go back to the weapon shop after we regroup. Okay, so there's Stardust 34. Sir, speak to me, please. There we go. Excuse me. Sorry, but all the rooms are full. If you really want to stay here, come back another day. Fine. Let's see, the other Stardust is near the hot spring. Not remembering exactly where. It's near the hot spring. And this is the hospital. Go ahead and save since I don't want to do any of the things I've just done again. Save over this file. check out the hot spring. Hmm. All right, well, the hot spring, not as, not as interesting as I remember. Let's see, where is that stardust? Perhaps in this side. That's pretty much nothing different. Let's just go over here for now. Hello? Fair enough. And in here. Well, in that storm, even for the powerful Darton Rose, you, you are. Mr. Dart, Miss Rose. Kayla, I had you worried. Thank God both of you are safe. That was nothing. Oh, did you see Miss Shauna? Please go see her. Hurry. She hasn't spoken even a word since you disappeared. Is she on the boat? Everybody is in the city now. Okay, I'm gonna take just a moment and remember where that stardust was. It's going to drive me insane if I don't find it. And by remember where it was, I mean look it up. Let's see, where did I put that file? Yep, this that's it.
Okay, I see where I'm screwing up. Okay, it's in the hospital. I was correct initially. I just forgot where in the hospital. Oh. Oh, hello. Ouch, don't you have eyes? Oh. Dart, Rose! I knew it! You guys are alive! Did you see Shauna? Bad boy! Come with me, quickly! We're in the hotel. Come quick. Maru, come back. I have a hammer for you. Alright, so into the hospital. Stardust 35. It is all the Stardust available on disc 1 and 2. Now we can go to the inn. Hmm. She said the hotel. Maru, where is she? Who am I? It's Hashel again. It has to be Hashel. Okay, that was actually a good trick. You guys are slowpokes. Welcome back. We were tired of waiting for you. You die? Impossible. Everybody. Hurry, go see Shauna. She is in the back room upstairs. Let's leave them alone. Rose, she has changed somehow. I agree. Indeed, I get the impression that she has calmed down. In any event, it's a good thing. Was it this room or the other one? The other one. Shauna. Dart? Oh, Dart. I made you worried. Are you? Crying? It was nothing. I'm so happy that I'm crying. So... Please don't say anything. I'm happy just like this. Peeking is not a ladylike thing to do. A 
I thought you wanted to leave them alone, didn't you? It's okay for me. I gotta learn about love and romance. You guys go back. Or we're gonna get caught. Kids. Please excuse us. <laughs> That's typical of Maru. Finally, you smiled. True. It's been a while. And this and that. We finally made it to Fueno. Not only that, you two are safe and sound. It's just a miracle that the seven of us can meet. We have to offer our thanks to the Tiburo and God. We ought to return the favor to the God by taking the Moon Dagger back. We have to catch Linus, then. May I ask you a question, please? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal like that? You guys were alone in the cave, weren't you? Did you guys put yourselves into a... a romantic situation? Maru, don't be silly. Even though you are trying to learn about love, it's too rude. Okay. So, Dart, did you cuddle with Rose? Hashel! <laughs> love Hashel. Sorry, sorry, it slipped out. What do you mean, slipped? Don't worry, Shauna. I was concerned about you the whole time. Anyway, about Linus. We should go out and ask about her in the city. We may find out something. I agree. Shauna, who let you in the party? Okay, so I have some gifts. Shauna, you're not allowed in the party, but you can have a bow. And Maru, you're not allowed in the party yet, but you can have a hammer. Okay, now let's go see who can equip Watt over here. Here you go, Albert. Dresses for everybody. Alright, everybody else is good. Alright, let's see what we can learn. You... You don't believe me. Either. I really saw it. I saw a dragon. On the remote island. Dragon? On the remote island? You don't know that. My ship was smashed by the sea dragon, rumored to live over the... Undersea cavern. I gotta have a drink or something. But you cannot go there anymore. 
There are lots of monsters there. My house was taken by those monsters. I gotta have a drink. It was a half year ago that the monster showed up. It's all the monster's fault. That I'm like this now? Give my ship and house back. A half year ago? It's the same time that Linus joined the gang. Okay, let's go to the remote island. Oh, that's been saying Prison Island this entire time. I have not been reading it. <laughs> and in the Prison Island... Okay, let's... get ourselves into the island. I have to head back to the other town. That's right, this little path is just long enough to get into one encounter. Ah, this is one of those tricky monsters. Eh, right, well, good fight. Thanks for showing up. What is that noise? It's from over there. There must be something over there. It's not just something. It seems that the rumor about the sea dragon is true. That is the dragon's cry. I can't blame you for feeling scared. I... I'm not scared. A dragon or two is nothing. We have to look for a way to go to the prison island. We need to go see the mayor. He is the ruler of all three of these tents. Oh, these like floating houses. Alright, let's go to the terrace. Hello. Sorry, I'm in the middle of something. Here we go, how's this? Oh, not again. Oh, I got a good win. Let's take a break. And what do you want? We want to go to the prison island. But we cannot go because of the flood tide. We're wondering if there's any other way to go. You said the prison island? Are you serious? Do you want to commit suicide or something? We are serious, but we don't want to commit suicide. You know it's dangerous to go there, young man. But why? Why would you want to throw yourself into danger? Uh, we need to see the monster. I need to see the monster. You need to see the monster? You look serious. The appearance. You're warriors, aren't you? I get it. 
I'll tell you, but it's up to you whether you can survive there or not. I closed the route to the prison island after the monster problem began arose. Why didn't you close the whole cave? It's really dangerous. Then we wouldn't be able to go to Fueno. That's why I closed only the path to the remote island. Prison island. Now I have a remote stuck in my head. I have a question. How do you control the tide? It's puzzling me. Oh, don't be so puzzled. I just closed the gate to the sea when the tide was full. Then even after the tide was ebbed, the water level won't go down inside. Oh, my, what a simple trick. You imagined I could think of something complicated? <laughs> hey, open the gimmick gate for him. I got it. Go into the cave from the right side of Pete's house. Turn the valve. And you can open the gate. And you can go to the prison island. Fair enough. To Pete's house. treasure. Healing fog. Healing rain. Right, well, those are very nice items. Right, turn the valve. Turning this valve should open the gate. Now we can go to the prison island. You know, after we pass through the cave for the third time. But now we have to take the long route. And right, back on the boat. To the pier. Okay, I gotta know, is this actually an inn? Or is it just a save point? Okay, I did not need to go through this whole conversation again. Okay. Apparently this is actually a different conversation, but don't care too long. Person likes to talk. Alright, back to the cavern. We got us a Dargan to kill. Oh, they have to go back. I saw that treasure chest. Not carry more items. Eh, do I have anything to throw away? Eh, actually, I picked up a healing fog. I can throw away a potion. Oh, 
a boy in attack ball. Hey, another thing. A jeweled crown. That sounds potentially useful. It's not for Rose, okay. Is it really just not for Rose? Can the other girls both use it? They can. Rose refuses to wear the jeweled crown. Oh, I guess Maru can have it. Okay, let's go down here. Let's grab that treasure chest up top. So just to make inventory space, where's that attack ball? Let's see what happens. Oh, that's a good spell to get. Attack ball actually paid off for once. I screwed it up, it doesn't matter. Oh good, a spirit potion. Way to fill up that inventory space I just made. Can't carry more items. I suppose I can't just use a spirit potion from here, can I? Cannot. Don't want to burn more healing items. I'm just going to discard that. It's unnecessary. And... Gushing Magma. That might actually be useful. Alright, what's up this way? This is the correct path. So let's go explore the other way first. I forgot what you were called. Oh, your glare? And a screw, sh screw shell. Cool. Oh, it actually survived an attack from Rose. Uh, how shall you get this one? Nothing else, you can stun it. And Dark kill this one. Yeah, you stay stunned. Now we just ignore you for a while. That thing has pretty good defense. Alright, Blinky. Time to die. 
Okay, maybe not. All right, Blinky, time to die. Oh, come on. Rose, you want to kill it? Thank you. Oh, that was... That was an interesting turn of events. Oh good, I got my healing potion back. No, I don't want the healing potion. Starved for space as it is. Alright, what will this net me? Yep. You know what? I can use one of the gushing magmas. But I'm not going to have you Hashel do it. He is the worst choice. Hashel, you just go ahead and waste that. Anyone else get a turn? Anyone that's not a fish. Go, go, gushing magma. Yeah, it turns out gushing magma is pretty good. At least when used like that. Oh boy, a recovery ball. Just what I wanted. Yeah, guess that's all that was over here. Alright, back to progress. I'd rather not use another gushing magma. <laughs> Hashel, use the recovery ball. Uh, use it on dart. Sweet. Everybody got their MP restored. That they weren't missing. Can get a better angle. Thank you. Let's kill the mermaid. I keep forgetting that can be countered. Eh, stupid crabs. SP on this. Back in. You know what? Just build more demon dance. Oh, good. We don't need to actually do additions. It's fine. Eh, dart, you defend. You don't need additions. Take that. Summon four gods. 
Nashville should be almost done with that addition. We needed like 12 back on the ghost ship. Let's have a look at that actually. How are you doing, Hashel? Yep. Demon's Dance is about to level up. Seven more. Okay. You might get that. Grab this. Alright, extra burnout. Handy save point I'm happily going to take. Is this where I want to go, or do I want to go to that path to the left? Path to the left it is. Gotta make sure all the treasure is acquired. I'm about to use another gushing magma just to speed this up. But Hashel does need additions. Start you defend. Alright, Hashel. Let's not fail this. Alright, failed it for a different reason. Got it that time because I was expecting the counter. Great. Demon Just continue defending. I shall punch it. Got the stun. Any rose, kill the mermaid. Alright, the mermaid is alive. Ash, will you kill the mermaid? Now I'm really starting to appreciate how good that Beast Fang weapon is. That stun chance is actually pretty high. Hashel hit Dragoon level 5. Wow, he actually beat Rose to level 5. That's actually kind of surprising. Oh, we now have the Violet Dragon. Alright. Go to the left. Ah. Yeah, this is how I get over here. Can't carry more items. You know what? Uh, I don't want to use a healing breeze. Give a healing potion to Rose. Oh boy, a recovery ball. I'd rather have the healing potion. 
At least that's reliable. Punchy punchy. Oh, punchy punchy. And Rose, kill the other blinky thing. Alright, you didn't kill it, but you hurt it real good. What is it doing? Okay, that's annoying, but it wasn't that bad. Okay, hash hole. Punchy punchy. Okay. That should have leveled up Demon's Dance. And... Ashwell should be close. Indeed. And Hashel still needs three. Okay, for the sake of damage, I'm going to switch Hashel. Actually, no, I'm not. Screw it. That gives too little SP. I was going to switch back over to Flurry of Sticks, but... I'd rather have the SP gain. So we'll see how this goes. Now here's a treasure chest I didn't see before. I don't want to use any more healing items. I'll just throw away that recovery ball. That was not the recovery ball. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. I never used that thing. Boy, an attack ball. Alright, save. And let's go to the big scary place. I don't actually care that I threw away the magic sig a sigil stone. I was considering selling it anyway. I think I've used it once in the entire playthrough and it didn't work, so... Anyway, this place looks inviting. Let's go see what fun times await us up here. Okay, so we may have to do this fight twice. Because on the first try, I'm going to attempt some science. And then, based on whether or not that works, we may have to try this again. I didn't kill those humans, as you said. But why did you suddenly start to say such things? The blood-smeared road might be the only way to lead us to the world we desire. Death gives birth to tears, and tears give birth to anger. When anger turns itself into rancor, it opens to war. It's silly that I have to repeat it, and since once is enough, well, I won't stop you if you want to do so, Lloyd. Anyway... 
He's called something like Dart. Aren't they the ones coming after you, Lloyd? It's all in my plan. Hmm. Plan, huh? Now let me tell you my plan. My plan is to get a hot prize from you. And here come Dart and friends with the cock block. Hey, you're disturbing my moment here. You're gonna pay for this. Why? Why is Lloyd here? Is this all part of your plot? My will is with Emperor Diaz. Namely, everything was planned by the god. You are still talking about that crap? You killed Lavitz. Let us settle this score now. I have the calling to reform the world. I have no time to pay attention to little things like Lavitz. Lloyd. I cannot stand it anymore. I am the one who torched your home to the ground. I am the one who deprived your friend of his life. And I hold the moon gem and the moon dagger in my hands. You abhor me, don't you? I'm heading to Mele Seisu. Pursue me if you can survive. Easy. Easy. Wait a minute. Don't be so hasty. It was nice of him giving you the invitation, but you gotta decline it. Because you will die now, in here. Alright, so this fight is either going to A, be really easy, or B, look really easy, then be really complicated. Depending how this goes. Okay, Hashel. Eh, why don't you start us off by wasting that attack ball? Let's just see what happens. Oh, I actually got a gushing magma and I wasn't prepared for it. That was actually one of the best things I could have gotten from an attack ball. Well, this doesn't look good. Huh. And that wasn't even the whole attack. Alright, that... that hurt a bit. There we go, Gar... Go, go, Dragoon. You showed me your dragon. Allow me to show you mine. Oh hey, we can see the bottom of the dragon now. Here comes the pain. Mm. My only healing here is going to be Rose and her Astral Drain. Don't know how effective that's going to be. But thankfully the Fire Special cuts pretty much all the damage these two can do in half. Ooh, 2,000 on the dragon. Alright, Rose. Let's have you astral... Wow, that... That almost killed the dragon. 
Oh yeah, Rose, get us some healing. Hey, thanks. That might be enough to kill the dragon. Maybe? No. Alright, well, here comes some pain. Oh, actually, that wasn't that bad. I thought she was doing the area of effect one. That's a strong attack. That seems like a waste to use it on the dragon who's in red. Ashel, let's see your dragon. Alright, well, it makes a cool entrance. Alright, not bad. Well, that was rude. Uh, Rose, do another Astral Drain. Astral drain. Now, hopefully this will kill the dragon. Because it went straight to red, and Dart really just hit it with the dragon for 2,000. The last Astral Drain did like 500, so this would be over 3,000 damage we've done to it so far. Dragon still alive? No. Alright, Linus. You are alone. Hey, Dart is running low on magic. That dragon really consumed a lot. I would just have to rely on the old flame shot. Which really isn't that much weaker. I mean, the dragon's 75, flame shot's 50. It's not that big of a difference. Yeah, that stood at over 600. Ashel, you have no MP left. Alright, let's fail at this. Yeah, I always miss the last hit. Never was able to do the timing on those properly. Alright, well this looks unnecessarily complicated. Might hurt. Just a tad. Ah, oh, good. We're in a tank. Oh, that, that was not bad at all. Wow, Fire Special really neuters your damage, doesn't it? Give her another Astral Drain. Let's just keep undoing all the damage she's capable of. But is that enough to kill her? Nope, she is still standing. You know what? Let's kill her with style and use a Dragoon attack. Was that enough? Well, Dart powered down with three... Or with at least two le uses of Dragoon left, so I'm going to assume that's it. 
Okay, it also forced Hashel to power down. And Rose. Okay. Everything must be exact for this little scene. And now we get to find out if my science worked. Lloyd. My life. is for you. Oh god, she's going Frieza on us. Lloyd. And we got another jeweled crown. And a frozen jet. Level up for Rose. Level up for Dart, Hashel, and Maru. And now, the moment of truth. Will this load? Not looking good. All right, behold the glorious black screen of death that can occur randomly after certain boss fights. And every time I attempt this fight, it will do this. My science was to figure out if this was worked on a per save file basis or on a per system basis. So there is a solution, however. Let me reset. We have to do that fight again, but now we can't use Dragoon forms. So it's gonna be fun. And while we wait for this to boot back up, I'm going to take a short break and I will be right back.
All right, never mind. I will have to do that in a bit. Anyway, let's go tackle that again. This is why I bought all the burnouts and the gushing magmas. It's also going to require a slightly different strategy. Okay, Rose can stay. She does a lot of damage with her additions. Hashel, I'm going to tag you out for Maru. Why? Maru can't become a Dragoon, but that doesn't matter in this battle. Because I can't use the forms regardless. And... Uh, Shauna, give me the physical ring. She has really good magic attack. And... Really good magic defense. Also, she has water attribute. So... She won't take much damage from Linus' attacks. She's also really fast, which is helpful. We'll give her the physical ring to make her survivability a little better. As even with that, her her uh, health is a little on the low side. All right. Let's go do attempt number two. It's a shame just because of how easy the actual fight was. But now we're going to get to see a much more complicated version of it. I possibly should have given Dart the Heat Blade back because it does fire-based damage, but I'm not entirely sure that would actually be a damage increase in this situation. The Falchion should still be fine, though. I don't expect this to be a problem. Do we just mash through the cutscene now? Move the dialogue forward. Okay, bye Lloyd, see you there. So the strategy here is to have Rose and Maru use the burnouts and the gushing magmas to f wear down both targets. Alright, Maru. Let's open up with a gushing magma. We've got three of them. It should wear them down pretty evenly. As I get to destroy my arm. That's pretty good. 500 is not bad. I mean, it's a fourth of what the red eyed dragon did, but I can't be too picky. Alright, Dart. You also use the gushing magma because your magic isn't bad. Yeah, that wasn't actually that bad. That wasn't too much lower than what Maru did. Yep, here we go with this.
the tidal wave into a whirlpool. I admit that's a pretty cool shot. That is impressive for the PS1. Alright, that that hurt quite a bit. Okay, Rose. Everybody's still pretty pretty good on health. Go ahead and use that third gushing magma. Okay, how we doing? Okay, Rigol is in yellow. Okay, so let's switch over to Burnouts. I wonder if a Burnout will do more on a single target than the Gushing Magma did. Indeed it does. That was a fair bit more. Okay, please stop whipping, Maru. You know what? That's not much better. Alright, she is getting very low on HP. I don't know if I trust her to get a turn. Eh, throw her a healing potion. She got focused pretty hard. Dart. Gushing magma. Not gushing magma. Burnout. Do it. Our goal is in red. Alright, our goal is down. Maru, burnout on Linus. nearly as effective. Alright, Maru again! She's another burnout. Oh, she didn't do this attack last time. Alright, Rose. Uh, let's have you use a healing breeze. Get everybody's health up. Okay, dart. Let's I mean, still have one more burnout. Let's go ahead and use it. Oh, she is still in the blue. She's got that dragoon defense, which I am sadly lacking this fight. That wasn't very good. All right, well we're out of fire magic. Use the speed up on Rose. Her demon dance should be pretty nice here. Alright, we got her in the yellow. Yeah, she's hopping about. All 
Okay, what else do we have that's fun? Attack ball, go! Ah, oh, good poison. I'm sure that'll be effective. Uh, Rose, you continue the demon dance. That's pretty effective for just being an addition. Yeah, can't complain about 340. Uh, Maru. Have you use a dark mist? She is in the red. We're almost through. Okay, not amazing, but not awful. Go get a rose. Ah, there we go. Fight is done. Had almost the exact right number of magic items. And now, we should hopefully be able to bypass the black screen of death. Yeah, yeah, she's being all dramatic. She's gonna go Frieza on us. Shauna's going to shove Dart out of the way of an attack that wouldn't have hit him anyway. Because if you notice, when she tackles him, he doesn't actually move. He's like, oh no, and it almost hit her, actually. <laughs> Goodbye, Linus. Back to the experience screen. Ah, good, we got the jeweled crown again. Level ups for everybody. And will it progress? There it is. I don't know why, for whatever reason, that works. So if you ever get the black screen of death in your playthrough, that's the solution. Gotta win the fight without using your Dragoons. This... It's Maru's Dragoon spirit. Oh, I'm surprised that Maru was recognized. Does that mean this Dragoon Spirit chose me? It means I am one of the Dragoons? Acquired Blue Sea Dragon Spirit. I'm a Dragoon too! Dragoon Spirits attract each other. And Dragoons gather. As the Dragoon Spirit desires. As so as fate leads. Are we drawn to each other like that? Is that what you are saying? It's just folklore. You're going to pursue Lloyd, aren't you? 
Unfortunately, we have to go meet King Zior to tell him we couldn't bring back the Moon Dagger. Aren't you hurt? No. Thanks to you, Dart. Yep. Bye, Maru. Hey, guys. Don't ignore me like that. Hey, wait for me. And with that, we now have all seven Dragoons. And also with that, my final party is set. Maru is now a member of the team. But since she is only Dragoon level one, gonna have to borrow that War God Sash, Hashel. Actually, no, you can keep the War God Sash. Who's got the other thing? The one that gives SP every turn. If anybody has it. Power wrist. Spirit ring, there it is. There you go, Maru, you can have the spirit ring. What are we doing on additions? Yeah, there's no reason for you to not use hammer spin right now. Alright, let's go back to that save point and we can go in disc two. And just so you're one if you're wondering, this old save file, this is where it died, was to that black screen of death. Uh, apparently I hadn't gone to get Kongol's Dragoon Spirit at that point. I'm going to save over that file. Goodbye, old dead save. Alright, we need to go back to Flets. And to do that, we go through Fueno. Alright, Dart. Do some work. Alright, good work. Caught that fish who was boss. Alright, Maru. I haven't tried hammer spin yet. Let's see if I can do it. Alright, that requires you to hit something. Alright, well, Hashel left it alive for you. Unfortunately, you didn't stun it. I dart, this might hurt. Hit a little bit. There you go, Maru. You just generate as much SP as possible. What, dart? You just defend. Hasho and Maru have this. That was depressingly bad. Okay, too fast on the third hit. It's been a long time since I've done hammer spin. Too fast on the third hit. It's okay, I'm just getting more practice at hammer spin. Yeah, why am I doing that so fast? It is not a quick hit. 
Alright. Oh, time to put the ultimate war god on Maru. No, that, that would be stupid. That is not a hard addition. It's one of those additions where I need to do it once and then it's fine. Okay, up and around. Thankfully this isn't a super long dungeon. Oh, hello. You're new. Flabby troll. Oh, punch it. That was actually too slow on the second hit. I shall punch it. Wow, I'm just all discombobulated now. Start stab it. Thank you. Now I'm too fast on the second hit. You defend. We're doing this hammer spin. God, too fast again. Why am I so... too anxious with that third hit? Hammer Spin is an easy addition. Good thing he was defending. Alright, Maru. One more time. There we go. That's better. Uh, Hasho, have you... How many did you need? Need two more. Good chance you'll get that by the time we're out of the cave. There'll probably be at least one more battle in the cave and probably one outside. Okay, so there was no more battle in the cave. That one outside, though, we can just guarantee that one's going to happen. Right where I expected it to. <laughs> but what are we fighting? Oh, good. The thing that's probably just going to run away and not let us hit it. Magic attack barrier. Alright, Maru, give a hell. Slightly too fast still, but she did hit it. <sighs> oh, Ashel stunned it? No, he didn't. He tried to stun it. Alright, well, I acquired nothing from that. Okay, give me one battle against a real enemy. Okay, I would have preferred more than one real enemy, but I guess I can't be too picky. Alright, Hashel. Hey, good, it lived. Oh, and it's healing, even better. Alright, you can just defend. It's in yellow. I doubt Maru can one-shot it from there. Alright, Hashel. This is the final one. Can you do it? Nope. Choked that on the last hit little too fast. I got a healing potion. I actually need those now. Now that I cleared up my inventory of all those spells, 
Come on. I want to get that one more summon four gods before we continue on. Because then I get to learn a new addition. And I'm sure that will go amazingly. Just look how well Hammer Spin is doing. I say that now that I kind of have the timing. No, Dart, you don't get to attack. And wood counter. I can never remember that counter. Timing on it's actually really fast compared to Dart's editions. And that was just sad. I'm tilted at this point. Alright, defend. Maru, defend. You can do it, Hashel. Hashel, are you okay, buddy? You look kind of sad over there. Aha, I got the counter for once. That is probably the perfect way to get the final summon four gods. Alright, we can switch you over to five ring shattering now. Oh, you are despirited. Alright, we'll switch you over to Five Ring Shattering, which is a four hit combo. Does significantly more damage than Summon Four Gods, but does not give nearly as much SP. I'm not too worried about that despirit. I can cure that back in Flets. It's no problem. Uh, let's buy some healing items while we're here. Just a restock. Two of those. One of those. And I'm pretty much good on everything else. Like an angel prayer. Alright, let's head back to Flets. Hello, Commodore. Dart, I've heard about you. You successfully defeated the monster on the prison island. And the female bandit. What's wrong? You have a long face. We are ready to go back to Flats in triumph. We couldn't get the moon dagger back. I like the ocean. Let yourself flow in the waves and winds. The problems of this world become not a problem at all. Here's an idea, Dart. Why don't you come with me on the ocean? Dart, you would make a good sailor. Or even a great man of the sea. A man of the sea? Not bad. What are you talking about? We have to pursue Lloyd now. Yeah, we have something we have to take care of. I understand, but it's a shame, however. I'm moved that you consider being a man of the sea. It's small, but it's my farewell gift to you. Take this. Ah, oh, 100 gold. Thank you. 
Start as soon as you're ready. Just come aboard. Meet you on the boat. Be ready for departure. To the boat. Are you ready? Indeed. Casting off. Getting ready to cast off. Okay, well that was kind of spazzy. Boat couldn't make up which way it wanted to go. Okay, give me a better angle, please. All right, Maru, go smack it around. Ah, slightly too early. All right, Hashel, let's go fail at yours for a bit. Okay, so it's slow, fast, kind of faster. All right. It's done it, though. Two flats. Or two to now. Then to flats. So I've got to go through that wasteland one last time. And then we get to go to the Barrens. Hey. Comedy. Yep, yep, please. Really? Okay, L almost there. We get to beat up some weak enemies, though. With that feeling of progress. Okay, remember when these things were kind of tough? Except those lizards, those things were never tough. Stupid lizard, hopping about. I shall punch that lizard. Okay. I see. Didn't see that. Okay, that third hit's a little faster than I'm expecting. Alright, hopefully that will get us through the Barrens. Well, considering it's already yellow, probably not. Turned yellow after like two steps. Stupid barons and its battles. Making me do stuff. Oh, look, plenty of things to punch.
Okay, I've almost got hammer spin down. Alright, that's actually not that bad. Just a matter of getting it consistently. Now the real question is, can Five Ring Shattering be countered? Because if it can, that could suck. So far it doesn't look like it can, but that could just be the enemies. It's okay, Hashel. See? Barely phased you. Okay, Maru is taking quite a bit of damage from poison. Eh, too early. Almost got it down. Hey, she got a Dragoon level already. She learned Rainbow Breath. That is an extremely good ability. That is a 50% heal to the entire party. Maru is actually the most broken character in this game. Once she achieves maxed out additions and gains the right equipment, she's pretty much unstoppable. Maru is still poisoned. Or heal her. This gives Dart something to do. Alright, Hashel. Punch that lizard. Yeah, it's a little too slow on that one. Still killed the lizard, though. Like, you can already see why she's really strong because of how fast she is. She is the fastest character in the game. Her only real drawback is she has low HP. But between her insanely high speed, high damage additions that she gets later on, and ability to constantly heal the party. She's a little overpowered. Alright, first things first, to the inn. This is not the inn. Do the correct place. You know what? Here, Marto, you can have five more Stardust. She won't give us anything else until we get 40, but... I went into that room, so I'm giving it purpose. Okay, finally, third time's the charm, I made it into the inn. Yes, and we will rest. Okay, we'll stop by the clinic, get rid of Maru's poison, and Hashel's dispiriting. I believe this is the first time I've actually used a clinic in this playthrough.
Okay, well that... That did nothing. What an interesting <laughs> staircase. It actually seems like a place where they would hide a stardust. Alright, I guess there's not actually a clinic here. That is unusual. Considering it's labeled as such. Fine, I will cure it the expensive way. There. Princess Emile is here. Let's go. Her graceful steps. Her dainty movement of the hands. Her gracious eyes. She must be. She is our Princess Emile. Princess Emile is back. Oh, what a stark difference this is to the imposter. I have returned after a half year of sleep. My father, King Zior, wouldn't say it, but I heard that the evil doings of the sinner who feigned to be me has harmed our people in Tiberoa. I can say it is my fault because people were wounded by trusting someone they thought was me. I am determined to make amends for this, even if it takes forever. It wasn't your fault, your majesty. Please do not blame yourself, your highness. Your returning only makes us happy. I owe you a debt of gratitude. I love this country. I love you people. Let us make this country continue to be a wonderful country. Let's make Tiberoa great again. I have a favor to ask you, Princess Emile. May I ask you to name my baby? My soon-to-be-born baby, your highness. It would be my pleasure. How about Ai for a girl, and Al for a boy? They have the sound of great energy and strength. They're beautiful names. I thank you very much, Your Majesty, or Your Highness. God bless Princess Amiyo. God bless Tiberoa Kingdom. All the best for the kingdom and us. I'm just saying, she seems to think highly of the name Al. You know, Albert, I think you may have a shot. Oh, Princess Emile, how beautiful she is. Albert? Just like I imagined. Oh, thank you, Lord, for leading me to this country of Princess Emile. Albert, is something wrong? Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh, no. Where's Princess Emile? You can meet her again in the castle. Jeez, Albert, at least try to hide it. Hello. We've been waiting for you, sir. Please, proceed to the Chamber of the Sun. You got it. Hey, we're back.
heroes. Forget about formality, you're the special guest of Tiberoa. Welcome back. I'm glad you are safe and sound. My sister is now acting as if nothing happened. But until you came back, King Albert, she had lost her appetite completely. It's not only a meal. We were longing for all of you to come back. Well done. But the moon dagger is still in their hands. Stop it. You people brought justice upon the evil bandits. You defeated the sea dragon that infested Ilya Bay. It was you, young people, who brought peace and happiness to Tiberoa and brought smiles back to our people. However, the moon dagger is to be passed on to Princess Emile. The moon dagger is a mere royal tradition. Tradition alone doesn't put smiles on our people's faces. That is all the moon dagger can be. King Albert, we are satisfied with the way things turned out. Instead of the moon dagger, we found something else to hold, hand down. That is, the heroic story of you. It will be passed down through the ages from person to person. The ste seven stars arose from the east to save the country of the king who lives in the chamber of the sun. You might want to work on that title. It was my pleasure, your majesty. That's enough for formality. We're having a banquet for you. Please enjoy yourself. Is a banquet a party? Plainly speaking, yes it is. Cool. It's a party. A party for us. Oh, Maru. Behave and be quiet. <laughs> she is cheerful and excited. We still have time before the party. Please feel free to relax. Let us prepare for the banquet. It seems we can relax for the first time in a long time tonight. I think so too. We have to leave here tomorrow. There's a good chance to relax. Mile Sesu. The country where Dart was born. We'll be busy again. I'll be walking around till the party starts. Alright, everybody just take off. Hey, where are you going? I have an errand to do. Are you going too, Rose? Let me go too. You have to appreciate what everyone did. Why don't we go out too? I love you, Dart. Since I was little. It never changed. Even when you went on your journey, Dart. Actually, I started to love you even more. Because while you were gone, I was thinking about you every single day. Shauna. So, I don't mind being your baby sister, because I can be with you every day. That's just how I think. I... I don't think of you as a baby sister, Shauna. I... Let's continue this after our journey is over, alright?
Start, welcome back. What's wrong? You have such a sour face. You think so. Anyway, you're famous in the city. The hero who defeated the dragon that descended down on Tiberoa. If you say so. Still doesn't feel like it's real. It's your modest attitude. You are our time's latest hero. Um. By the way, the party is starting. Get rid of your sour face and be happy. See you later. Oh, Mr. Dart, Miss Shauna, why are you here? <laughs> We're waiting for the party to start. It's starting soon. Please get everyone where I cannot prepare the dresses. I'll see you later. I'm going to look for everybody. Wait! The moment ruined so hard. Alright, I guess we gotta go find people. Where could they be? Anyone in here? How about in here? Albert, are you in the princess's room? Look, I'm just saying, if Dart's not the only one getting blocked. Called it. Do you know about the legend of the mermaid? No. Please tell me about it. The king of some country is gazing out over the waves of the sea and thinking his life is hollow, just like the vanishing bubbles. Everything looked like that because the king didn't know true love. Under the waves, a mermaid was thinking the same things while gazing at the clouds in the sky. Oh my, and what happened to the two of them? Would you like to know? This is a secret story handed down only within the Sergio royal family, so I cannot tell you any more. Oh, I'm sorry, I cannot go on. Oh, you are teasing me. Albert with the moves. But I am having a fabulous time. I didn't notice the passing of time when I'm talking with you. I knew it. You're here. Is something wrong? The party's starting soon. So I'm calling everybody down. It's already that time? Unfortunately, I have to leave you. When can we meet again? When the stars fill the sky. You can simply say tonight. At the party. Well, Al, at least it only happened to you once. Where could everybody else be hiding? We have Al, 
Shauna's gone ahead. Just a peek is fine. I want to see the party food. We're not going to eat now. We just want to sample the food. That is eating. Come on. Please get out. You're delaying the preparation. Alright, we found those two. Mr. Dart, please stop them. Wars never choose their time. You have to eat whenever you can. That is a basic understanding for a warrior. You want to eat too, don't you, Dart? The party is starting soon. You can eat as much as you want then, right? Is that true? Why didn't you say so? I'm here to tell you that. Come on, let's go. Okay, so that leaves Rose and Kongle. I am a hero. He would laugh at me. I laughed now. I did laugh. Since I have started to wear this choker, I have not laughed for years. It was worth the wait. Oh, you are here. I'm here to tell you that the party is starting. It'll be a fun party. Alright, let's go track down Biggin. Uh, in here, perhaps. Wait, this is the banquet hall, isn't it? Nope, oh, found him. Congo. Has. Friends. Friends of. Different species. Not bad. Whoa. Don't do that. That's what I should say. Did you hear Congo speaking? Not really. By the way, the party is starting. Alright, well that was simple. Everybody's here. Give me the usual suspects. By the way, she was saying something about dresses, but where should we go? We have to ask Libria about it. Okay, where is Libria? Is she in Lisa's tower? It's not in here, is she? She is not. Uh, let's go check Lisa's tower. It's really the only place in the castle we haven't been. Libria, are you here? A strong heart. A passionate eye. A fabulous man. Sigh. Oh, Dart, 
How long have you been there? No, how may I help you? Alright, well Libria's not here, but that was at least funny. Where is she? She may be in the throne room. Last we saw her, she was at the bridge here. And she is no longer there. Uh, well, let's check the throne room. Dressing room at the end of the hallway. Where is the dressing room at the end of the hallway? Do not know of this dressing room. Can I get in here yet? Cannot. Get in here, perhaps? I doubt it. Oh, it is here. I literally walked right out of here. It seems everyone is here. Miss Shana, Miss Rose, and Miss Maru, please come this way. You have to change into the dresses. Dresses? You're talking about us? Yes, I am. Princess Emile and Princess Lisa insist. Good for you. No thanks. It's not like you. As I'm a dancer, I can't dance well in these dresses. No thanks for me either. I feel naked without my sword. Please wait in the living room. I will come and take you there later. Everything is ready. Please proceed to the chamber of the sun. This is a banquet to honor the seven heroes who saved Tiberoa. Please enjoy yourself to the utmost. Alright, how you doing? Mr. Dart, wait for us. You must be Mr. Dart. I'm dying to hear your story. Oh, excuse me, but monopolizing him is not fair. Please let me hear your story, too. I would like to know more about you. Oh my, don't be so fresh with him. I talk to him first. Oh, you must be Mr. Hashel. I'll take care of things here. Why don't you go and enjoy yourself with Shauna? At least tonight. You have to make good use of the time the two of you are together. Thank you. Hello, Kongol. What did you do to Shauna? Do? I didn't do anything. No Shauna here. No. Kongol tall. Kongol doesn't see you from here. Where is she? Maru? Are you enjoying yourself? Yep, it's fun. Are you gonna dance too? 
Sure, That's, this'll go well. I'll try. Right on. Where is Shauna? I don't know. Go look for her. She should be waiting for you. Come on, go. Hey Al, I'm back. We have to go to Melesesu with Dart. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you forever. Mio, well said. The future of Sertio and Tiberoa is shining like the sun. I believe love is the only entity that never changes over time. And distance makes the love grow stronger. She said deeper, but yeah, same thing. I cannot watch this anymore. <laughs> What's wrong? You have a long face. If you're looking for Shauna, she's not here. Mr. Dart. Miss Rose needs you. This way. Okay. Rose? Dart, why are you procrastinating like that? Do you want her to catch a cold or something? Making her wait all night like that? She's over there. You look beautiful. Thank you. But it's all thanks to this dress. That's not true. Look, a falling star. I wonder if my wish will come true. It will. Because I wished the same thing. Oh, they finally got their moment. And with that, disc two comes to a close. So we will replace this old file. Put the controller down. And with that, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the stream, please consider hitting that follow button. Check out the YouTube channel for VODs. They usually go up within a few hours. And if you'd like to stay up to date on when the stream goes live, or when videos go on the YouTube, check out the Twitter. All that is above. And there are links in the descriptions below. But again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.